Uh, okay then. Why not we casting the rituals? Uh, before again? we go to the other night, uh, you kind of skipped me entirely. Okay. Yeah, you did. So, what are you doing uh, throughout this well, wonderful night? Well, after the last thing, after I uh, was leaving the fucking uh, meeting, uh, first thing would, that I would have wanted done was basically just calm myself down after that by going and finding some nice chicks in the bar and feed off them. So basically hunting. Okay. You happily hunt. So, uh, difficulty three, right? It's not four. Uh, it's not that late in the night, is it? Uh, just roll the three. Woohoo. Okay. Two from each, and that would be six, right? What? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yep. And uh, after that, uh, I'd probably see Wit uh, meeting uh, up with Archie uh, in the park. My park. Mm hmm. I uh, just wanted to have a small talk with him. Yeah, Maxim is probably there getting to know the locals. Yep. So, how have you been, Archie? Oh, hey, uh, Kavdan. Well, Antsy? When are we gonna rip the Tremere Chantry open? We got bigger, f bigger fish to fry now, but uh, I wanted to talk to you about some other things first. Uh, first of all is, uh, in the, on the Primogen Council and whatnot, uh, we've decided basically that, you know, we should get an Elysium up and whatnot. Uh, and a place that everybody's agreed that the Elysium should be, which should be in my, this park right here. Uh, and the person I really trust the most to be, you know, good at this was you. So I wanted to see if uh, you wanted to be Elysium Keeper for uh, this new Elysium. I'm looking at Archie's nature right now. He just kind of goes, um... I'm not really one for sitting in one spot. I'm not sure it's for me. I think I'm gonna have to say no. Eh, uh, yeah. Thought so for a second. I also have a lot of fucking other uh, things to do as Primage and whatnot, so... Just consistently also having that and this might just overhaul me a bit. Uh, do you know anybody who might fit? Uh, Maxim will actually uh, speak up. Well, uh, I am familiar with uh, how to speak to people of the high society, and I'm strong enough to keep order. I would happily volunteer my services. Oh, well, that's right. I didn't actually expect uh, you to be interested in uh, as, as a keeper of Elysium. I'm sorry that I didn't think of you first, Maxim, but uh, if you're willing to, then... Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Uh, I'll just uh, pass that over that uh, you can be the new uh, Keeper of Elysium. So, uh, it's basically going to be in the park here, so, you know, since you're going to be the Keeper of Elysium, if you need help or something like securing it so you can have a nice time here or something, uh, you know, you know where to find me. No comment, Arman. Absolutely. Fuck you, me, by the way. Fuck you. Hmm. Um... So yeah, uh, thanks for this, Maxim. Uh, and then going back to uh, Archie for a second. Uh, oh, God damn it, I literally forgot what I wanted to say now. I hate myself. Uh, something, wait. something, right, 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 right. Uh, Actually, since Maxim is here as well. Uh, so Archie, Maxim, uh, another thing to say, actually. Uh, as I said to Archie, as I said to you before, Archie, we got bigger fish to fry. Uh, there seems to be a new problem in the city. One that's both interesting, dangerous, and potentially fun. Potentially. Um, werewolves. Oh. <laughs> so, when are you going on the hunt? Uh, well, uh, really, uh, Whatever we fuck, really, we're supposed to be that. Like, I know that we're all capable of getting the werewolves, so really, whenever we want. Uh, but I try to do some other helpful things to mostly just assist us. Uh, mostly, one of the problems being is that uh, 
the holy place that they are is also heavily magic and whatnot, uh, which might impair us on parts that we really can't counter, uh, which is a part that I wanted to ask you, Archie, is, is there something you could do behind that? Because I know you got that stuff. What about the holy place? I... Anything. Uh, nothing immediately comes to mind. Yeah, fair. Uh, this was discussed on the Primogen Council right now, and uh, the Tremere were offering help, I put that in quotation marks, uh, by telling that they'd lovely just send books and whatnot to you for you to do things, but I know that wouldn't work at all. So basically, they're just out of the game uh, for the anti-magic play. Uh, I'm still kind of convinced that we could definitely do it without, but I'm, I always want to think about the better side. So I don't think anybody will be hurt, killed or something, but we are fighting against werewolves and we have me and Maxim and you, Arch, of course, but, you know, just to be on a safer side for the other neonates. Well, it sounds like we don't want to attack the holy place. We want to kill the werewolves. Yes. Well, yeah. Uh, the other part being is uh, the Tremere are placing wards around the city, so we have two choices. We can play a defensive game or an aggressive game. But uh, out of character, uh, oh yeah, I actually didn't tell them that the prince is missing. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So we could really be uh, on the defensive or on the aggressive. Uh, being on aggressive probably would lead to more casualties, but. So far, being just on the defensive might seem like the better idea, yeah? Well, is this such a uh, burning question? I mean, werewolves are good sport and all, but they're going to still be there in six months. <sighs> what, what, what would I do? How much do I trust Max and Archie? That's the question, is it? How much can you trust this new elder that just showed up and volunteered to stay and take a position of power? I mean, and you get he's prestigious. He's not a fuck up. <laughs> and he's a clan. <laughs> yes, let me go on. How far can you trust him? Was the question. I think you got some success on what he's like, or was that Vivian? And Vivian for sure got some. I think we both rolled, really. For what? For what Maxim is like, what his reputation is like. Oh yeah, we both rolled. Uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff, and then I informed him s about, you know, some general stuff before we met. Mm-hmm. Okay, then yeah, you would know. He is, he is a traditionalist gangrel, but unlike you, it's less the stories and living in the wild and wandering. It's the apex predator. Be the predator that survives and thrives in any situation. He is, based on that knowledge, just adapting to the situation and trying to burrow his way into this city. Uh, no, just a reminder, this was, a, this was both to me and Epic, right? Or just Epic, because he, I think he had He informed you, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So you know what he's like, he's essentially trying to be the perfect predator. Got it, I'm just in combat, of course, he's proof of that here. Uh, and himself. Yeah, uh, just, uh, just gonna continue off then, uh, so... Well, uh, the thing is, though, it seems they've been uh, doing some raids, so to say, uh, after a, I, I'm not sure if you guys know her, uh, Pamela, uh, after going around and whatnot, she uh, basically just stirred up a hornet nest. So they seem to be very aggressive now. So they're just, I, they should be probably a roll around the city at this point. It's probably in small little packs, just picking things off. That's why... Uh, I'm basically looking, just saying this all, just more of a precaution thing as well. Uh, but it would be good to just get rid of them. Ah, uh, that is 
That is fine, we can arrange sleeping spots in the park, get the animals here to keep a watch, it will be no problem. Okay then, uh, if, if need be, I don't think we'll need them since, you know, we're strong enough. Uh, but we are uh, good with other uh, clans as well, so I doubt we'll need to call anybody else in the hunt, but in case anybody wants, we can. I doubt we need, though. Well, I will be waiting impatiently for you to call the hunt then, Elder. Okay, then. Uh, it should be soon. Really soon. Uh, just basically have to go really inform the others, council and whatnot. Before we go in Gunso. I will inform them about the hunt as they trickle in. I will stay for the night. Okay then. Thank you, Maxim. Not at all aiming uh, for your position as well, right? Yep. <laughs> and uh yeah, I'm just gonna after that say just uh you know. Uh, you know, just gonna, just gonna basically be just hanging out with the rest now, just casually. Have a little rest after all that fucking shit. Alright. Yeah, Maxim is happily telling everyone about how you're gonna lead a hunt against the werewolves and show them what a true elder gangrel is capable of. In the clan's best yeah. traditions. I hope that guy has that so you can help along as well. I mean, he would have to stay behind. Clearly, he has been assigned duties. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, you're an idiot, by the way. I know. And? Do you want to try and counter what he's saying in any way? Because... He's essentially calling a crusade against the werewolves in your name. I mean, it's gonna be calling all the gangrels as well, so he's gonna be obliged to help as well. Keep the keeper, like keep the keeper of Elysium thing, just Elysium down for a second and just go and hunt bitches. Elysium is more important than some random hunt. It's a citywide position. Elysium I mean, is. If the, if the prince mobilizes the entire city, it would be a lot less than. Well, yes, Maybe. but if there's only one Elysium, having a safe meeting spot generally is important. Fair enough. Hence the argument. Yeah, fuck him. Like if you can't, I, as far as he's concerned, if you can't give as good as you're getting from him, you don't deserve your position. Rude. <laughs> It's the gangrel way, it's how he functions. I want him to die so badly. <laughs> so, just... I assume you each have a list of NPCs that need to die in a fire at this point. I mean, every single werewolf tops the list. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, my list is pretty big also. Okay. Don't worry, Demi. More gangrel are coming. I know. Right then. So, how would well, he do this? I discovered something fairly interesting. Yes. Mainly because I was <laughs> looking through on vampire relations with Guru and shit. So. Uh, I remember you mentioning that uh, werewolves could default, seemingly, uh, find out supernaturals. Not werewolves, no, they require demons. Gifts. Demons can. Oh no, you mentioned that werewolves could just smell the decay and death off of a vampire by default. Yes, if they're right in once. their face. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's actually not a thing. It's in that's the core gift. book. Sense the yes. worm. It's distinctly diff. It's distinctly separate. It from is sense distinctly the worm. different from sense the worm. It's sense the unnatural. Same thing. It's not a gift. We are. It is a gift. Epic. It's not a fucking gift in Werewolf Twentieth. They can sense the smell of blood and death on vampires if they're close enough. 
it's a thing. So, How do I get to go cast awards? Uh, you can start or... on this night, honestly. Yeah, I'll have. I'll inform uh, half ten of this, and well, once yeah, I'll inform half down of this. Are you? Which one are you casting first? The one in the Elysium, for obvious oh. reasons. Okay, give me a second. I am going to look up the. Wording circle and give you the idea of size. Of course. Uh, three meter radius. Right. So, board versus werewolves. So normal radius from about so normal radius would be about this. So it's actually not that hard if you want a reasonably small circle. It's when you want that to get big. Well, this place is probably not to scale entirely. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. Well, they do have a one square is one foot. Actual, actual map squares. Not these squares in them. We have. I'm gonna do it like this. So, this would be about 12, so an increase of 3. And so, you could cover six. this by just casting it at 9, I would say. Yeah. And we can Possibly. spend power on it and all that. Well,. So, actually, no. This would be at 9 if this was exactly to scale. Yeah. So, assuming... S We're gonna say a... Say 4 willpower per circle to guarantee at least one uncancelable success. Okay. And you have Wilfred and Charles to help you with that. With the will of the pyramid. Okay. Uh, so we each take. I guess we each take down one, and then the wolf. Well, Charles is the one that has the ritual, right? Uh, Charles, yes. He can take down two for the for uh, two, and then he can take down two. Okay, and. He would actually be casting. So, let's see. Extra successes. Wow. Yeah, that's sad. Well, it is a war technically, and it will hold for a year and a day. <sighs> it's something. Unless it won't. <laughs> Well, he has five toms, so getting through it is moderately hard, at least. Okay, now go now for um. That this was for the. Which this one is now? for what is. Um, this night. Do you want to cast for securing the penthouse right away as well? Oh, oh yeah, sure, yes, definitely. Let me write it in somewhere in your notes for now. So, how do we spread the willpower spending? Uh, again, same. He takes down one, and then he takes down. Okay, let's see how well the places. Okay, they're not getting bacon again. If he makes yeah. it home. <laughs> yeah. I... So how long does that word last? A uh, year and a day, and actually, yeah, that also requires one success to make it permanent. So someone would have to... And Wilfred can do one of the extra willpowers that we haven't accounted for, and you can do the other if you're... Yes. And those would be two semi-permanent wards, then, that are, you know... One of which is actually good! Yeah, the other uh, one is less fun. You, given your amount of occult, would know that essentially in practice, it wouldn't be a perfect sphere. 
it would be like a flattens. So it might extend yeah. a floor or two down. So they would like run into a wall as they were climbing up. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, it wouldn't extend that far, especially if it's go projecting through matter, you know? Yeah, I'll inf I'd inform uh, Andy of this, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, Bacon, would you like to spend a personal destiny point to escape? Just wondering. Yes. Yes. Or not yet. You want to do this. Uh, honestly, what are the odds of me escaping without the destiny point? Oh, well... They're In not... The they're not non-existent. Knowing what mm -hmm. I as ST know. There is a chance. Hmm... I only I am have checking one. Checking up on him every once in a while to make sure he's all right, but yeah, he seems to be on occasion when you peek in on him missing pieces. They probably at this point have cut off a foot just to make sure he doesn't try to run. But he's still alive and awake. Mm. Uh, small miracles and all that. I'm just not sure if... I think you well, would escape. I probably won't get a worse situation than being kidnapped by werewolves. It's a destiny point, so you'll be able to escape no matter what. It's just a matter of can you survive being here not being there. This is your one free get out of jail free card. Yeah. That's the point. I don't know if I will go to a worse jail or not. You're not going to a worse jail than getting five seconds away from dying. I mean, Derek might succeed. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I want to keep Derek alive, actually. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Derek's go to the destiny point. <laughs> I'll regret it later. Very much. Uh, well... Well, it's something, all right. Shit. Okay. How would you escape here? Because now I have to come up with something. Oh boy. Uh, presence, fortitude, dominate. I think if there's only one guard with him, he there could would try usually to just be two, but we can say that that's how you manage to do it. One of them would, you just manage to catch one of them in human form and just tell them to leave. And then when the other one turns to you, you manage to somehow succeed on that as well. And then you just, you know, hop towards the water and jump in, let the current carry you. <laughs> Carry me to the water and throw me as far as you can. So, this would, this would mean that you escape, Bacon. The destiny point is gone. Roll me a luck die to see if you manage to make it back before Derek makes his ill-fated diplomacy. Maybe. Okay, so... Poking your head above the water, you see a car pull up and you're a fair distance from the car now and uh, Derek is, uh, you know, getting out of the uh, passenger side. Oh, I just call him. Derek, trying not to be too loud, expecting him to uh, have house specs. He looks around and looks on you, eyes go. Going to go tonight. Derek doesn't really have an option, so yeah. Andy probably would have included at some point, like, you know, don't waste any more time than you have to with him once he checked in. Well, yep. I would. I might be there, I might not. 
Uh, just seems to depend if I know he's going right now. Mm, probably not, because that would essentially look threatening and cowardly, which Jackalot told him was a no-no. No, not there as in physically, but there with my thing. Oh, yes, you you can easily be watching him, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if uh, Vivian knew about him leaving right now, was the thing, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, his eyes go wide, and he just rushes towards the water. Just tosses back, keep the car running <laughs> to the ghoul in the uh, driver's seat. I just try to swim. Uh, it's not very effective, you're missing a few pieces. <laughs> uh, give me a... Usually it's stamina for swimming, so I'll let Fortitude call for this. Uh, missing pieces... Well, missing a hand and missing a foot, so hard to paddle. Um, you know what, we'll call it a 7. So, stamina athletics 7. Okay. Have... Penalties apply, but so does Fortitude. Yeah. A difficulty seven. A difficulty seven, yes. Okay, you just make it to the shore, and you know Derek is pulling you out as you hear in the distance, like an oh, go up from multiple uh, <laughs> throats. Just let's go, Derek, quickly. What did they do to you, Prince? What did they do? Half tried dragging, half carrying you. Just a few pieces I of my around, body. Not start immediately going through as many people as I can see. Is there anyone near them? Uh, this is a... There's a few cars passing. Um, no, no, uh... no, no. As in vampires, I start using my power to just... One round somebody. Are they near? No? Yes? Uh, near there? Uh, some of the Nosferatu yes. might be, but they would be the closest. And they are busy discussing the best design for a bear trap tipped with silver right now. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, I will then... Uh, I will just... Uh, are they all, all around? talking to each other right now, or is it just a couple of them? Uh, it's Not many probably of them all three. There seem to be, you know, discussing the security measures and how can they can toughen them up further, because this is kind of a bad situation. Uh, hey, Michelle, uh, the prince has managed to uh, semi werewolves at the moment. Uh, Derek currently has him, and I believe is dragging him to a car. Uh, uh, closest ones nearby, if you want to try and set up some way for them to possibly escape a pack of werewolves, this would be a good moment. <laughs> uh, Michelle is going to excuse herself and walk into a nearby room. Really? What the fuck am I supposed to go? Do. Just tell him to slam on the gas uh, or something. I can just. I can. Uh, I'm mainly just looking for a possible alternative route. Uh, maybe you could arrange through the sewers or anything if something happens to them. She gives you an address that you can direct them to, and instructions on how not to fall into the first two traps. <laughs> I will exactly do that. <laughs> Okay, meanwhile, so Radam Anne Ghoul yep. is slamming on the gas. Luckily, Bacon's destiny point is still protecting him, so somehow the werewolves don't catch you. You make it into the streets before they are on your faces. But they are unhappy. You did a bad as far as they're concerned. So Bacon's destiny point was spent. I was wondering what actually happened while I was trying to read the other things. Yeah, he just uh, went yeah. like, nope, thank you very much. 
I was reluctant, but fuck it. I probably getting kidnapped by werewolves is one of the worst things that is going to happen to me for the next next three sessions. Uh, you know, you so, have that clan uh, enmity, uh, Zimity, and you're not that far from Mexico. Okay, next two sessions. <laughs> okay, so I will then tell. Uh... You know, I'll actually tell uh, Bacon, the character. Um, uh, it was Andy or Alan or something, right? Alan. Alan. Uh, okay, so the Dosferat managed to set up some traps at the moment at this address. Need it to uh, try and make a quick escape. Yeah, it would be much appreciated. They are getting close oh. quickly. Other than that, um, well, this was rather sudden and unexpected, so, so we don't have that many people nearby to actually help you in other situations. So uh, I'll see um, if I can further if they keep trying to chase you, but uh, yeah. Uh huh. Welcome trying... back, hopefully. Are you trying to look in on yeah, the werewolves, so Epic? I will uh, try and check on the werewolves as well, if at all possible, to try and keep that updated. Yeah, they seem to be, like, you know, honestly, five of them probably gathered at the edges of the swamplands. Just, they don't seem to be in hot pursuit. They seem kind of deflated right now. They're discussing among themselves about what to do next. This is important. I'm listening in on this. <laughs> uh, one of them smacks the met. It's like, how could you let him mind control you like this? Uh, uh, the plan right now, from what you're picking up, is be cautious and try to come up with an actual plan, because... Clearly they miscalculated somewhere, and pushing right now could lead to all of them getting killed very easily, which would be bad, because they have a holy place to protect, so they can't take stupid risks. Okay, these are good newses. <laughs> I'll then go back to Bacon and tell him, Apparently, they are not going to initiate any chasing of you at the moment, as they are worried about uh, their own place being hit. Hmm. Let's Good. put it this way. That five success ward, you are so lucky that's there now. Yeah, so... Uh Good, uh, so we can save these traps for later. Uh, yep. I'll go to my right. Now. I'll then uh, go and tell Michelle the, the same, that apparently the werewolves backed off after chasing for a little while. So, back. Okay, the uh -huh. uh, Nosferatu, meanwhile, uh, have taken some of the jagged shards of silver they've been provided with, and are happily using potents to fashion them into shivs. <laughs> I would just question Vivian before she gets out of his attention. Uh, did the city went in flames when I left? Uh, yes and no. It's actually gone pretty well. Uh, the biggest issue actually is the Toreador right now. The Primogen's in Torpor, and they sent your Chancellor that you informed nobody about, uh, except, you know, Andy and the Toreador. Yeah, Andy sent him to start possible peace talks. It was going to be smart a... this idea. It was... Yeah, that was gonna be a charismatic at, at nine roll. If he got if he rolled well, he might have been able to, you know, get the foot in the door and start real talks. 
Possibly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he may not be the best one to deal with angry werewolves. I mean, I'd be... You're you apparently a pretty low humanity, but... Bacon, you are saying your part, by the way, out loud in the car. Just so you know. Because I doubt we have any yes, spending well power to read your mind while this is going on. No. He's aware. And also, he will say, but besides that, uh, good, good job. This was Derek, his name, right? Yeah. Good job, Derek. Uh, saved my life there. Almost. <laughs> yeah, common sense says, Bacon, I'm gonna stop you before you say that. Common sense says that lines like that can fuck you over if he chooses to hold you on that word. Yeah, I would say just you. You're cutting it in takes and out. Balls to try to talk with balls. Uh, really? Yeah, just a little uh, bit. Yeah, I always had, but uh, it takes talk with werewolves. Okay, I think I got the gist of what you're saying. Okay, so you are happily taken back to. Your place. And I think Jackalore is... Uh. I will inform Andy that the prince uh, has been retrieved by uh, the wonderful Chancellor. <laughs> he's way probably over to the tower. Mm -hmm. You know, you are bundled inside Bacon, and uh, there are your ghouls and Andy. Regent probably chanting with couple Tremere in the background. <laughs> they welcome you home, lost bits and all. Uh, I have one. Uh, yeah, wards. We need wards and lots of silver. I have added the wards to this, uh, this place. This is very nice. In fact. I am happily make, uh, trying to help uh, our new chancellor in his attempts to live life. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm not going to say he just got lucky. No, fuck that. He did a great job. <laughs> uh, he did a great job. Uh, also, how is the state of the city? Uh, uh, we're moving in together. Andy has been a great help. In you are busy enchanting, Jackalore. Oh, that's true. Just so you're Fair aware, enough. you can throw a word here and there as you're, you know, taking in a breath, but generally... You don't want to disrupt the ritual. Yeah, Fair enough. Andy, managed uh, to keep the city together? Uh, yes, the Toridor Primogen frenzied in a meeting and tried to eat my face off, so he got torpored and he's in the uh, third closet. <laughs> uh... So yes, you have the Toridor is supposedly your ally currently in a closet somewhere, but other than that, things are great. Just the Torah, not the others. Uh, I saddled the Gangrel with responsibility for maintaining Elysium. Wait, Chris, you just broke up. Yeah, yeah, he can't yeah, do anything it's... after Elysium. Okay, um, uh, he tells you that he saddled the Gangrel with responsibility for maintaining Elysium. Oh, good job. Was thinking of doing that, but never got the time. Was supposed to do that two days ago. Werewolves. <laughs> it, it, was a, it hasn't been two days at this point, it's been more like five, I think, overall, or six. Nearly a week, in other so, words. Yeah. They had you for a while. He was supposed to do four or five days ago then. Yeah. Good job, Andy. Mm hmm Okay. Now I think I need to get things right. Uh, yeah. So, in order to 
Well, I'm gonna treat your lost appendages, I think, as each a aggravated wound since they were amputated by werewolf claws. Fingers, the ones that they, you know, just tear off with raw strength, those you can just regrow, those aren't the problem, but stuff they actually deliberately cut off, you're gonna have to regenerate, you know, gradually. So I need the... So you need five blood points to heal each of those. Gods, this is horrible. Yeah, you're cutting out a lot. Uh, God damn it, internet. I'm... God damn it. I am gonna have to cut the stream here. I am sorry it's dying yeah. on me. Okay, and... YouTube hopefully... only stuff. Yeah. So, you're gonna need to heal, Bacon. Uh, don't worry about it, people can help you with this. There's a few that would be... You know, you have two ghouls and a child, you'll, you'll manage. Okay, uh, please repeat that. Most not. Yeah. It, really? give, it, give it a few moments. OBS is trying to end the stream and keeping the recording going. It takes it a while to cut off the connection properly. God damn it. Actually, I'm gonna pop out of the call and see if that helps it. Testing, testing, testing. Oh, that is deeply disturbing. Is anything else working on the internet? Anything at all? Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna end the recording here. I'm gonna be back in a moment. Let's try that again. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it here. Hopefully I can record the last part in a moment.